Hi everyone, welcome back to One Touch BI. This is Saranan Vajravel, and today I'm going to show you how to save the report output to the network drive location. Very fast, I would request you to create a network drive. So in my case, I'm going to create a drive in the C colon new folder and name it as Cognos report output okay if you want to know the location you just double click on it and click on the search bar and copy this now you open your ibm cognos configuration go to actions edit global configuration under general you have archive location i'm going to change this so any network drive you provide, make sure it should have the format file colon forward slash forward slash followed by the network drive location. If in case you want to provide the absolute path of hard disk location, then it should be C colon followed by the directory. In that case, file colon forward slash forward slash, you can provide the path. Keep it all lowercase as much as possible. Instead of going with absolute location, if you want to provide the network location, then you should further start with backward slash followed by the network drive. So I'm not going to define the network drive location, the shared drive. I'm going to provide the absolute path. So in that case, it should be c colon forward slash so when you copy from the windows directory it comes with the backward slash so i request you to change this backward slash to forward slash now you test this if the test succeeds that means it configured successfully yes the test got succeeded and you can see that the green tick mark close once you define the Cognos share drive location, that is archive location in the edit global configuration, click OK, save it. Once it is saved successfully and as you see all are green, close. Now you restart your IBM Cognos service. This might take a few minutes. You please wait for the BA service to start successfully. Since you have not configured the email configuration, the warning will come. You click on continue to proceed. The first step of configuring the archive location using IBM Cognos configuration is completed. As you see all the green ticks, we are good. Click close. Now you need to launch Chrome browser or any other browser to open your IBM Cognos connection. Input your user credentials and login. Launch IBM Cognos administration by clicking on manage administration console click on the tab configuration dispatchers and services and in the right side you have an option called define file system location that means from the right third icon click on this I have already configured two shared drives. So what I'm going to do, I will create a new shared drive for our today's demo. Click on new, input the file system location. I will call it as reports. It's going to be a subdirectory from the step one, what you have configured the root directory path. So in our case, I have already created a root directory archive location, Cognos report output. It's going to create a subfolder called reports and inside the reports all my report output will be saved okay i provided the name reports 
if you want you can provide the description same and screen tape the name what you have provided reports that's the same name i'm going to provide file system location for creating a subfolder click finish that's it we are done the step close now let's go to the report one of the report i want to run in the background i already have a report under my content i'm going to schedule this report or run in background click on the three dots run has run in background check that i'm going to save this report in the csv format and click on advanced and choose the delivery option save report and save report as an external file the save report is going to save the report output in the cast manner to save in the content manager if you don't want to save in the content manager just uncheck this and save only to the network drive location the new network drive path what we have configured is reports click on reports and choose the conflict resolution in case the report output is already saved do you want to keep the existing one or you want to replace or you want to create the report output with a timestamp let me go with a timestamp so that whenever the report output is getting saved it should have a suffix timestamp click done run the report once the report has been successfully executed you can see a subfolder called reports the report has been completed now okay let's go to that location and witness that the report is created can you see that uh, subdirectory got created reports and inside reports you have the report output can you see that's all for today's demo if anyone is not subscribed my channel request to subscribe my channel so that you get the videos as and when i create them and upload them until i come back with another video this is Saranan Vajravel signing off from One Touch BI. Have a good day.